Um, I'm glad this morning that uh, Carolyn Dyer decided to do this. This is very, um, I, th- I know it's difficult for people to do this. And uh, I've learned to appreciate uh, Carolyn and what she does around here. And a lot of you don't get to see, but I get to see her and talk to her through the week. She puts this stuff together out there very beautifully and, and uh, makes it appealing for us to see and to watch and uh, look at and just appreciate, really. And her life is in flowers. I found out she has a greenhouse going up, Carolyn. I found out she has a greenhouse, grows her own flowers. I thought, man, that reminds me a lot of home. And uh, Carolyn's been attending here, you said, about over 50 years. I've uh, been walking with the Lord since she was 12. And uh, we've talked about her story before, and, and she shared it openly with me and the things that she's walked through in life. And, and um, I'm just so glad um, you're willing to sit up here and to share that and to make yourself. Oh, yeah. We're, let me get the mic here so you can, they can hear you. But I appreciate you and, and, and your willingness to come up. And, you know, we've talked about, you know, your relationship with Christ and him being at the center of the things that you've walked through. And, and uh, so I'm just going to pick some random questions. Again, I just want to remind you, if you say no, I'd rather not ask, answer that one. Uh, you just let me know and we'll do that. Um, number one, um, and we talked about this even before service. What do you wish you would have known about marriage before you got married? It's just so you were married when you were 17, right? Right out of college and, oh, out of high school. I was still in high school. You were still in high school. Okay, <laughs> if you would. If you would grab that. It's already on. Um, he was talking about when, what time it was. I was still in high school at the time. Um, everything. He says, what did you want to know about marriage? Everything. Because I was 17. You know. um, didn't know how hard it would be. It just, um, just, it was just, you know, you just don't know anything then. You, you see the surface of other things, other people's marriages, but you don't um, really get into that kind of stuff when you're a teenager. And that's basically what we were. We're 17 and a senior in high school and a still a teenager. Yeah. That's okay. And we, and if you don't want to answer this one, I know sometimes marriages don't work. And yeah. uh, you know that. And you shared with me a few weeks ago that you realized it was not kind of what I just said there. It's not all one person's fault and when it doesn't work. And what would you say to a young couple now, uh, knowing, you know, what you really know now? Um, first of all, get to know yourself. Um, be able to stand on your own two feet and know your own worth before um, you take on a lifelong commitment like marriage. Um, it's more than trying to decide what school to go to or uh, more than any, anything else. But if you don't know who you are and if you don't have confidence in yourself, then it's, you can lose yourself and that's where you start breaking down and not being able to um, take care of things as they should be taken care of because you don't have the equipment and the ability to do that. So. Okay. And I want to talk a little bit about you. These next three questions kind of go together. But, um, you know, you, you said you committed to your, your walking with Christ when you were 12 years old. About 12. Okay. And you continue to be a part of the church and... And uh, so how is your walk with Christ? And you've walked through cancer, I know that, and you've walked through some difficult, you know, things in your life, you know, and, and raising five boys, right? Well, and uh, how, you know, how did your walk with Christ, you know, play into that? You know, after you, you know, realize, wow, boy, boy, I need Jesus here. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, I came from a, I didn't have a good growing up. So one of my goals or one of my wishes was to have a big family, have a big loving family and, and be able to go to church together and do things that it was my dream, you know. I don't, it wasn't even reality probably. I mean, you yeah. know, because you see uh, big families in church. At that particular time, there was a lot of big families in churches, um, at least in the Church of God there was. And uh, um, that was just, I just thought that was major world, you know. That was just my dream. Yeah, and and how in your walk your walk with Christ? I mean, uh, when you were walking through some tough things, I mean, how did you 
how did you cry out to him? You know, was there, were you honest? Did you say, what are you doing? You know, those kinds yeah. of things, yeah. Usually the ones that I came into, they were so bad or so, you know, emotional that you didn't even think about doing that. You just um, um, prayed and you prayed. And when you couldn't pray anymore, you would call someone in the church or some friend or mentor and say, I can't pray anymore. And you, can you pray for me? Yeah. And you would just, um, it was something that um, once you gave your life to him, he was just there. Yeah. It wasn't something you had to um, look for or, or ask him to come back or ask him to do things because he knew what was going on. Right. And you just um, um, prayed and just kept pushing on, just kept doing whatever you could do. As, it, as the doors opened, you just kept going through them, yeah. you know. And so, and, and in your walk with Christ, you, you said, you know, boy, yeah. um, when you couldn't pray anymore, yeah. you had to call somebody and say, hey, would you pray for would me? You help me pray? And in that time, this is not one of the questions, but it, okay. in, that, in, the, in that time, were you ever tempted to walk away from your faith? No. And That was oh, all I had to hold on to. Okay. Yeah, that, that, was, that was the only thing that was a stable thing in my life since I was very, very young. So yeah. I didn't even question it, you know. So I, Jesus being your rock really was your rock. <laughs> he was there, um, and I didn't question him not being there. I just assumed or felt that he was there, and so everything went that way. I mean, I don't know how to explain it exactly. Yeah, but. yeah. and last question here. And um, it's number seven. Good. Okay. <laughs> yes, we did. You, actually, you had them all written out. That's it's pretty awesome. Thank you for... Um, what are one or two things you believe every woman, if she wants to get married, needs from a potential mate, a husband? Mm -hmm. What do you think? That's, that's really hard. But um, what would you... I mean, if, if you had to redo it again... If I was younger again and could do it over again, that they were old enough to know what they were doing. I mean, that they were... Um, a strong person, that they were a caring person and, and had empathy and and uh, understanding for other people. Um, yeah, okay. That's <laughs> I don't know that kind of thing. Yeah, no, 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 you're, yeah, go ahead if you want to refer to that, yeah. If I had anything else on there, just the respect and understanding and patience and for them to be a strong person. Yeah. And hopefully they would be a Christian. Right. You know, that right, would be yeah. your... Icing on the cake. All right. Be a Christian. All right. Well, thank you. Yeah. If you would give her a hand.